All right, the subject of today's video is my uh, Orange Line EQ16 trailer. This is basically the exact same as a um, as Big Tex. Um, it's called Orange Line. However, I put the Kubota sticker there as with the steel sticker. And over there, I got a Husky sticker. Why? Because it makes me happy. Um, do excuse my voice. Um, <clears throat> probably allergies and probably because I basically live everywhere that I'm allergic to everything in. So, um, excuse my voice. The show must go on anyway, so I apologize. Um, this trailer is 17 plus 3, and those uh, ramps slide in and out. Um, the biggest thing that I would change about this trailer, if I could just pick something to fix, would be um, max ramps. That's the one feature of, of this trailer that I wish it... Well, it doesn't have, and I wish it would have. Um, everything else works really, really well for my usage. And as you can see, I have it backed into a pretty tight tight space to load up a skid steer. Um, <clears throat> I like this short trailer because I can put it anywhere. And I also like a conventional hitch because it turns extremely quickly. If you run a, a goose, it takes a whole lot more lateral truck movement to make it swing. You can obviously turn tighter with a goose because there's no... <clears throat> if you take a look at this, you can, you can get around pretty hard. Um, this is a pretty well-designed setup. However, um, you can definitely do more with a goose. You can go basically more than 90 degrees. You can probably go, if I had to guess, right up to 90 degrees probably, maybe a smidgen less. And just because my truck sits... A fair amount higher do we get a little extra out of it but this is a very stoutly built trailer it's been through a whole winter time this wood decking is pretty good as you can see i try to be extremely careful with it but she gets tore up regardless um the only place where the paint really wasn't very good was in the chain locker area it did not come with excuse me a spare tire did come with a 12k jack and that jack rocks plenty of power i have not had any trouble and you can see literally it says Big Tex on the brake, uh, the emergency brake setup. Uh, I am towing it with a 20K rated 2 and 5 16 Kurt hitch that I really like. And it allows me to have a whole bunch of adjustment. Uh, in this case, this trailer, I mean, obviously you can adjust here. But it's always kind of ideal to kind of, if you have a lot of weight, is to have the force go directly into the hitch. So if you have it down here, you have a lot of uh, load on the hitch this way. So anytime you can kind of keep the load in line, and in the same way the load in line, it's gonna work. It's gonna work well for you. So with this setup, the truck or the trailer sits very, very level. Uh, when you put late, well weight on it, the trailer sits rather level. Works pretty well. It has the right amount of D rings. I mean, perhaps you can make an argument for one more set back there, but we get two here, so you can take care of um, a bucket on a mini or a loader for a skid steer. Um, and by bucket for a mini, I mean the, uh, uh, the arm, the boom, you can strap down your, your bucket boom arm setup, plus strap down your, your undercarriage onto this one. Uh, you could make an argument, I think, about putting another one, say here, especially if you're using this trailer for a material, um, that could be extremely handy. It does have some pretty massive... Uh, axles that work quite well. This trailer is rated for 17,500 pound GVWR. These are, I believe, H-rated tires. They're massive. I love them. I like looking at them. I like feeling them. They're beasts. Um, looks like we could use a smidgen more. I just was looking at that. Looks like we had to use a smidgen more axle oil in there. That's okay. We're going to be changing ours or changing the axle oil here soon anyway and putting some uh, um, aluminum caps on. So these are retained very well. They move pretty easily. I do need to throw a little bit of lube on there, no big deal. Um, anybody who's ever used an equipment trail trailer can handle this setup pretty normal. We do have our, um, our self-cleaning area right here, which works quite well. There's plenty of traction. I brought the tractor up here and the mini when it's been um, snowy and didn't have a problem. Um, yeah, this is a little bit of wear from vehicles driving over top of it. That happens. Um, let's see here. We do obviously have stake pockets. If you want to. But I usually just use the D-rings. Which work just fine. Uh, these have your adjustable deals. I have them like this. Because it works just fine for what I do. Uh, with the Mini. It is ideal in my opinion. 
especially the mini is to put the truck in four wheel drive put the parking brake on put it in park that way that your front axle is actually doing some braking for you this thing will get very very light on the nose and actually pick the back of the truck up mostly off the ground if you were not loading on a level excuse me a level, a level surface um it would roll away from you so you definitely need to be having four wheel drive parking brake and in park and also wheel chocks i usually have wheel chocks in it however we're just moving the skids here today so i'm not too worried about it like i said i have extra stickers on there because it makes me happy it's really the only thing that matters so we do have our oil bath hubs obviously um which work nice uh we do i like i said i'm changing to the um the aluminum caps on those inside of the plastic ones and doing an oil change on them at the same time so that'll be nice so That'll be a nice little upgrade. These are removable fenders. Um, haven't had to remove them. There is tons of room up in here. You could easily pull even my truck with the offset wheels up here, no problem. Now, if you have a, a rock buggy and you have maybe some extra wide axles on top of having some really big offset bead locks, maybe that wouldn't work, but I would, I would think that this trailer would haul any wheeling vehicle you might have. So if you're looking for an equipment trailer to haul a Jeep, or a buggy, or a truck, or a mud truck. Um, short of having some ridiculous agricultural wheels and tires on your mud truck, pretty sure you would be okay with this. If you do want to take the fenders off, there's two bolts. Um, I haven't done it because I haven't needed to. Seems to work pretty well. The next thing I want to do to this is build a winch bracket, which I'm planning on making it bolt to here and impinge right here. So basically, we just have two bolts and more or less hold it here. And then when we tighten the bolts down, it's going to shove the bracket into here, which is really, really well uh, well supported. Um, so the winch will hang out up here and simply make it so um, it's easily removable. So it doesn't have to live out in the, in the mess. And we'll just throw a battery right here and use alligator clips. Or you could use, you know, normal clips too. Uh, it did not come with a spare tire. I think I already said that, which I don't know kind of a miss in my opinion spend a fair amount of money on a trailer and they can't include a $300 wheel and tire you know I'm not sure so we do have the um uh the Demco latch which I really like seems to work extremely well I've never had a situation where I've questioned whether or not this thing is latched and it definitely works because the back end of the truck has definitely been lifted up on some surfaces where the the ramps got pushed into the ground a little bit um with the mini, the, the mini weighs enough to sky the front of this trailer. Um, so yeah, that Demco works. It la it self latches really, really well. Really, really like that setup. There's ample striping around the whole thing, and um, yeah, it looks good. Works well. Tows great. Um, this is to an F250 towing this with a 10k GVWR. So technically over 26001. However, everything that I move is for. Uh, my buddies and I to do work at our properties or friends' properties, not for hire. So we are simply moving things around to get the job done, if you know what I mean. So by job, I mean not for hire in, you know, side projects. Those are always good. So yeah, I think she's a pretty well-built built trailer. I put a lot of weight on this and haven't had any trouble. I know the, the, the joke is big text, big flex, whatever. There's a very short distance between that axle and that hitch because it's a shorter trailer. Look how much steel is in there. There's not any flexing going on here. So uh, quite happy with this whole arrangement. I would not be afraid to take this, you know, on the highway, obviously with a lot of weight on it. Uh, it's very, very stable. Haven't had any trouble with stability. Towing it with this truck. I do make sure that the frame is level, especially when I have a lot of weight on it. The key with the mini on this guy is to get her, you know, you need to get your weight forward on it. So you're going to have a substantial amount of tongue load, but uh, the truck is able to support it with timbrens. Um, that helps a lot. So you don't look like you're skying the front end. Never had a problem with the ramps not being able to hold up the, um, the load when I roll it on. The back beaver tail, I've never seen it flex. So yeah, pretty, pretty darn happy with it. The brakes are really good. Um, and again, this is the EQ16. I think that this is the heftiest um, one that they make um, without it being a gooseneck. And I'm not sure that any of the Kubota trailers or Orange Line uh, is a gooseneck. 
I don't think it is. So, again, I'm going to back up just a smidge here. So, tongue's right there. Back's right here. As you can see, you can back it in a, f you know, a really tight, tight space without having really any trouble. And again, if you're just, if you fast forwarded, my voice is terrible. I apologize. But like I said at the beginning, the show must go on. So, it is a size that is extremely manageable. It's extremely easy to back into tight places. We brought it over to a golf course to drop something off at and had to back it through the woods, which was really cool. Um, it's an amazing trailer. It does a really good job. And it's kind of the sumo wrestler of trailers with the massive axles that it has. It has great brakes. Uh, they are still drum brakes, but they are very, 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 very strong brakes. Um, no problem with this thing rolling with the Mini on. I think this is rated at 4,200 pounds rolling weight plus the Mini, so 13K for the Mini. So you're over 17K of, uh, of weight. And uh, she's very much in control, stops great, no problem at all. The, I love having more axle than I really need to have. In this case, it actually is enough axle for what I, for what I need to have. However, when I'm putting, say, a skid steer or a tractor on, it's excessive. It is also very stable, very safe, no problem at all. There's plenty of room on this deck. Sorry, I just jerked the phone around a lot. I do that sometimes. I'm sorry. Um, there's plenty of deck here to put the tractor with brush hog in the back, and you can put a grapple and a bucket up there. And, um, yeah, in the future, I might try and get a, a flail mower, so that way I can bring more attachments with me when I go places, because the flail mower obviously takes up less space. So in theory, you could put more attachments in the front, move the, the tractor farther back, because you've got a bunch of weight in the front, and then you have the flail mower back up here. Instead of it being six foot long, it's now, you know, three foot long or something. So basically half the length when you go to a, a flail mower from a brush cutter. So uh, we'll look at doing that in the future, but it is definitely a super capable trailer. I have used goosenecks and I don't own one. I would like to own a gooseneck in the future. However, it will be a big one. If I go to a gooseneck, it'll be so that I can bring multiple things with me at once. It'll be towed by a dual rear wheel truck with substantial uh, capacity. And uh, this setup works well for what I do right now wiggling into tight places it's kind of uh, you know under the radar a little bit a smaller truck and you know a trailer that doesn't look crazy but anybody with a well-trained eye can look at these those wheels and say whoa that's a heck of an axle package underneath that thing so it's a really cool um capability that this offers but if i go to something different like i said this works great for what i do right now if in the future we needed to move a skid steer and a mini at the same time or if we were going to get into doing bigger jobs with a tractor where we wanted to bring multiple different attachments to one situation. Uh, if a friend's doing a food plot setup or doing trails and I wanted to bring, you know, a brush cutter, a tailor, a, a grapple, a bucket, a post hole digger if he wants to do tree stands, that kind of thing. Um, I would like to try and get a Diamond C 44 foot long with a deck or uh, the deck over the neck, basically a dream trailer. That would be like the dream next step up trailer. This thing does what I need to do for right now. And it makes it so I can wiggle this guy into really tight places. Um, and I, I just really like this trailer. It tows really well behind my truck. It's just really nice. And there, there's just a teeny little dirt road right there. So it's a really sharp back into here. And as you can see, it's not a very big opening. And I did that one swoop and I was on the telephone when I was backing up talking to my mom. So it's amazing how th this trailer, you almost think it and it goes there. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, shoot me a, a question. And I'm sorry if my voice annoyed you. I, um, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I wish I didn't have a, um, a tight voice. And I probably sound really goofy. Um, apologize about that. You guys have a great day. Remember, like, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, ask a question. I appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. I hope you had a great Memorial Day.